Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the 25 DIYs of Christmas. Um, hit that notification bell because that's the only way you'll be able to keep up with all the videos I'm putting out right up until Christmas. So we're cheating again today. We're doing days 11 and 12 because we're going to be doing two different DIYs. Today we're making rose hydrosol and rose infused water. Now both of these can be called rose water interchangeably i guess most people do call them that but they are completely different especially the process the process is completely different for both of them and you get a different outcome okay so we're using fresh roses i got these from public so i doubt they are organic but this is the closest i can get to fresh roses where i am okay so we're going to be cutting these removing the petals and then we're going to wash this thoroughly we want to wash it thoroughly just in case there were any pesticides used to keep bugs away even if you have roses from your own garden or from a neighbor's you still want to make sure you wash them thoroughly because there could be insects um all over them or in them okay so you just want to make sure you wash them thoroughly so now i'm going to rinse and try to wash my rose petals as thoroughly as i possibly can i'm using distilled water to do this but this is not the distilled water we will be using um, during the process to make our hydro salt and our rose infused water okay so this distilled water will be completely discarded you're only using it to rinse off your roses really well and um you're going to strain this water off okay and just discard it you want to rinse this under pouring or uh running water because you don't want it to just sit in the water because it will start to infuse and you don't want that to happen you want all of that beautiful nutrients and that beautiful essence of the rose to go into your actual process so make sure you don't just put your rose petals into uh this distilled water and just let it sit in order for it to get clean or to rinse it off okay you don't want to do that or you're going to start the infusion process all right guys for the fun but slightly complicated part you need a deep white bowl you want to make sure everything is heat resistant even the smaller bowl that you're going to be placing inside of this deep bowl you want it to be heat resistant won't melt won't burst anything like that okay um, we're going to place this at the bottom of the bowl solely to elevate the smaller bowl that we're going to be putting in here later okay in the meantime we're going to be adding our fresh roses to uh, around it and then we're going to place the distilled water in there now the distilled water that's going in here is what's going to become our rose infused water or rose tea if you want to say that okay so the roses will be heated up in this distilled water just as if you were making tea on the stove and that water is going to become our rose infused water rose water rose infused tea whatever you want to call it okay and you're going to be able to distinguish this one because the actual color is going to be that bright beautiful uh pink reddish color from the roses okay so this is the first process there's going to be two processes going on at the same time the first first process process is just basically a rose tea which is super simple to make you can make this right on your stove anytime just a little water and the rose petals and you can get this rose infused water so for the second process which is a little bit more complicated you need another bowl to go on top of whatever you put on the bottom to elevate okay you want to elevate it so that it can catch this beautiful um steam i guess you can call it steam that's going to be coming up as the rose roses in the water um heat up that steam is going to come up and hit this lid, hit that bottom part of the lid. And as it hit the bottom of the lid, it's going to cool down and that water, it turns back into water and that water that drips down is going to fall into the white bowl. That is our rose hydrosol, literally the purest ster sterile form of the rose water that you could get. This is what you want. This is the gold, okay? So as that condensation falls down, it's going to fall into the bowl and that is going to be our rose hydrosol. So I hope that makes sense. So you're going to see the steam starting to come up now. And as that steam hits the lid, it's going to cool down. As it cools down, it's going to turn back into water and it's going to fall down, drip back down into the white bowl. That is your rose hydrosol. One more time, we're going to watch the steam come up from the roses in the distilled water from the bottom. That steam is collecting at the very top of the lid. As it hits the lid, it's cooling down and it's dropping down into the bowl. To speed up this process, we're going to add ice. 
but we're going to put it into a Ziploc bag. I've seen several videos where they have to, you know, suck the water out as it melts. I don't want this to happen because I don't want the ice water to fall down um, through my lid because I had to take the handle off and, and, and you know, contaminate my, my rose hydrosol. So I put it into a Ziploc bag that is completely sealed. Nothing's going to come out. Even as it melts, nothing comes out. And it's also a freezer bag. So this is going to allow the ice to stay cold longer and not melt as fast. This is a great thing because as this process go on you want the ice to um, stay stay cold so that the condensation will happen faster so i've seen other videos where the ice melts melts and melts you have to keep putting new ice more ice um, and sucking it out it just seems pretty messy to me <laughs> so i highly recommend the ziploc bag method um, it's going to keep the ice cold longer so you can get your hydrosol faster and it's going to also get the condensation to going faster as you can see these big huge droplets you know that steam is turning back into water super fast because of this ice on the top of the lid is causing that you can see how it's just dripping this is what i was talking about this is the condensation you want all of that is pure beautiful rose hydrosol so you want to make sure even the lid and the bowl that you're using everything has been sterilized and cleaned to the t you know because you want to make sure that um it's pure hydrosol that's coming up and is already sterile and just beautiful okay so um yeah definitely try out this ziploc bag method i think this is definitely going to be a game changer for this process especially for those of us who do not have the equipment to really do this uh the proper way okay so this is just kind of like a cheat way to do this and and we all learning from each other and we can just keep improving and keep making things a little easier for us till we're able to get the equipment if you even want the equipment the equipment i've seen is pretty big and, and bulky so that's if you want the equipment i think with the equipment you'll be able to get a lot more <laughs> um but yeah during this process you're only able to get just like a little bit at a time so that's another thing that makes the rose hydrosol um different from the rose infused water it's more expensive because you have to go through this this in you know intensive process and you only yield such a small amount from this process so um this makes it very um expensive you know because it's, it's hard to get it's not easy to get a lot of it okay unless you have some really expensive equipment it's going to be really hard for you to get a good chunk of this unless you go out and purchase it and if you go out and purchase it it's going to be more expensive all right so now the process is complete you guys we have our beautiful rose hydrosol now this is piping hot i'm not allowing it to cool because i have a lot to do i'm still working on orders so i'm um taking the pipette and i'm using it to uh just suck up the water out of this bowl and i did this until um it was cool enough for me to grab with my hands and then just go ahead and pour it into there also in this container that i'm putting it in this is where i put my lid on top i put my lid on top of this when uh, it was done so that the rest of the hydrosol could drip down into there and that's it you guys this is our beautiful rose hydrosol see how crystal clear it is that is what you want that's how you know you did the process right now what's left over is our rose infused water or rose tea you see it's a completely different color you see that beautiful pinkish red color that is our rose tea or rose infused water whatever you like to call it i do not know if it's going to stay this color i will keep you guys posted i know a lot of natural colorants tend to want to turn brown um but i'll keep you guys posted on that all right so we're going to go ahead and bottle this up we're taking our rose hydrosol and we're going to place it into a dark colored glass container um i had these cute little containers for a while now i just uh bought them because i was going to be making a lot of different extracts that i haven't really got to i've got to some of them but not all of them okay so i thought this would be the perfect container to use to store the rose um, hydrosol in the rose hydrosol uh, uh can definitely be distinguished from rose infused tea because it's clear if it's not completely clear then something in the process was done wrong or it's not completely pure rose hydrosol is completely clear now there is another rose water out there that is completely clear and that is the rose water that's made with distilled water and uh rose odo or rose essential oil okay that can also be clear now the uh, rose water that's made with just distilled water in essential oil can also include a preservative i did not add a preservative into this rose hydrosol I wanted to test the theory that this is already sterile and doesn't need a preservative so i'll be storing this in the refrigerator and i'll let you guys know how it goes okay moving forward i did have enough left over to get an entirely another bottle 
Um, so I wanted to add a preservative to this hydrosol because I wanted to also test to see how well it works with the preservative, okay? So this will also be placed in the refrigerator. Um, adding a preservative and also placing it in the refrigerator will extend the life of any hydrosol, whether you make it yourself or if you bought it from someone else. Most of the time when you buy from a supplier, it already has a preservative in it, okay? So keep that in mind when you're um, purchasing your hydrosols. Um, they usually already have a preservative in them. The preservative I used is a broad spectrum preservative and it also um, is considered natural and can be used in organic products. I chose this preservative because I wanted to keep my rose hydrosol as pure as possible, you guys, okay? So this is the final product. I will be using this in other DIYs. I know you guys have been asking me to remake my rose water face cream for a very long time, so I think I'm going to do something along those lines using this rose hydrosol. All right, next up is our rose infused water or rose tea. This is the easiest one to make, you guys. I'm going to be straining this, but I didn't strain it first off, so you're gonna see there's gonna be some particles floating around in there from the roses and the stems and all that stuff. I did add a preservative to this, and I recommend that you do so as well, just because it has the extra stems and the extra particles in there, and it has more of the essence of the rose in there in a, in a way, I just think it's so important to add a preservative to this rose infused tea, rose infused water. These things go bad super fast. If you choose not to add a preservative, I highly, highly recommend that you make sure you have organic roses, make sure you clean them thoroughly, and then also make sure you store it in the refrigerator. Um, but like I said, nasties can grow within 24 hours. Think of it as food or any type of drink. Um, you place it in the refrigerator to help preserve it, but trust me, there's already bacteria growing and it will still go bad in your refrigerator, okay? So to this beautiful rose water, we can do anything we like. So we're going to add a little bit of our rose odo. This is a very pure, expensive oil, guys, and it smells so beautiful. It just gives you that extra pop of rose smell, and it's just absolutely beautiful. So I added that to the rose infused oil just to give it a little bit more pizzazz, and it smells amazing. This right here is what you can use, you know, probably as a toner or something to help minimize your pores give you a little spritz to kind of cool down especially during the summer you can put in a spritz bottle maybe a hair perfume or something like that so those basic cosmetic uh, benefits I think will be okay for this now it didn't keep that rose color that you was looking for it became a little cloudy because we added the preservative so if you see some that is not cloudy or didn't change in color slightly it's probably because it doesn't have a preservative and you want to be weary of those okay um so yeah this is what we got here. These are our final products, our Rose Hydrosol. This is the one without a preservative, okay? So this is the one that's gonna be stored in the refrigerator and I'll keep you guys posted on how long it lasts. There's controversy whether or not it needs a preservative just because it's already been sterilized, okay? So this is the one I have already labeled it that has the preservative in there. I also put on the label which preservative I used just so I can remember how effective it was, okay? I will also keep you guys posted about this one, how long it lasts, and I will be using this one in some upcoming DIYs. Okay, and then finally, our rose infused water. This is the one who's gonna give you mostly the aesthetically beautifulness that you're looking for. Um, and like I said, make sure you add a preservative to it. So that is it, you guys. What do you think? Please leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. You know I do. I try to respond as much as I can. I'm still working on orders. Please hit me up on my email. If you have any questions about your orders, they are coming. Check your email for shipping updates. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and all that good stuff. For the full list of ingredients and measurements, check the description box down below. Guys, make sure you hit that notification bell because it's the only, 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 only way you can keep up with all the videos I have coming up for you. We're still continuing on with the 25 DIYs of Christmas, so make sure you stay tuned for all the other DIYs I have coming up for you guys and leave requests in the comments section down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I got blood on my hands right now And I'm stumbling But no